Alrighty, let's watch this in full here. It's pretty cool. I like that robot. Come on. <clears throat> All right. So what I'm looking at here, there are a couple of things. I think generally it's pretty cool. I think there are two major things missing though. So let's go one by one. I like this intro. I like how she comes in. I think it's it's a bit contained in terms of the uh, the silhouette, in terms of how far the arms break the body silhouette. So it's always kind of in front of it. Watch out, you got a flippy wrist here. And then it kind of stays put, a bit of a tangent there. You just kind of, by staying put tangent here, it feels like it's just kind of contained there as opposed to really understanding and seeing the structure of those arms. And even as this arm swings back, it feels like this is just kind of locked in that area. I know I'm seeing movement, but I'm kind of reacting to this moment where it feels somewhat locked. And then as you go forward, you move forward over one frame and it kind of stays there one frame and goes back. But again, the silhouette is muddy. Like we don't really see what's going on. And then as the other arm moves back, it has a bit of a move back down and then it kind of stays put a bit. And then suddenly goes back up with a really bent wrist. And then as it goes back again, especially with the dark in front of the dark of the robot, the silhouette gets kind of muddy as opposed to potentially bringing this out. You might also have to change the colors. Imagine you bring this arm out. You're going to have that white in front of this white. It's just you have to kind of look at how we can get a color silhouette out of this. But I think the arms are a bit too contained. And then you go back here and shoot forward over two frames. And then we lock. So you see how those hands shoot up and then they just kind of stay put. So it feels like that swing is too big for something that only goes this high. That is cool. I love this though. That is great. Going up, you can probably offset the legs a bit more. Yeah, maybe. Tiny bit. Into this, that's cool. Into like an immediate into this. That's neat. And then that's cool too. Like she kind of adjusts. And then moves over. I think I was probably combine those moves where it's not. It just goes up, stop, left, versus combining that a bit more. And I think the hookup is okay. Technically, that arm is below. I think it should be okay. She looks over. Yeah, yeah. We buy this. That's the uh, that's the uh, little technical thing. The two major things I was talking about is this: when she turns around, she besides a broken wrist. I don't want to go into crazy detail here because my question is what is this face like what she looks super bored now i'm going to assume that you just haven't gotten to the face yet and again watch out for silhouette you're kind of losing the structure of those arms there but what what does she feel like why does she go over there is she being chased would she look around still is she just there's not alarm she's just ready to fight and she's just determined or she is, but then she's still kind of nervous. Maybe on the way down, the eyes just look up and she has a bit of a concerned face. Like, what are you going to do with that? And I think however she feels is going to change some of the moves here, potentially some of the moves here. Probably not too much, but that's where I'm going to get more into detail here. And once you get into this, we're super, super twinny. I know there's an offset in terms of height here, but generally she feels... Just very mirrored even the last pose you know i don't know if this has joysticks that you can grab she can maybe you can add some buttons that she can push all depends unless you just want it to be stoic and then she goes down but it just, it just feels a bit lifeless so that's what i would suggest there the other thing too is that we see this close we recognize hmm, that looks like a face this closes that's the other major thing we go up there and I was waiting for the eyes to turn on. If those are the eyes, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what I'm looking at. But imagine something happens, head goes up, and gets ready to fight. It feels like there's an ending missing. Uh, and all I'm seeing here is this is your submission for review. It's been a while since you've animated. And a bit rusty. So I, I don't really see any uh, history or context. Or if you want to add something after that, either another shot or extend this. So it's kind of like half critique, half question. <laughs> and uh, I hope I hope that helps. It's really cool, though. I would love to see this fully animated. It's a cool rig. I wonder, is that a keel? Figgins? Let me know what kind of rig that is. I'm very interested in mechy stuff. It's all cool. All right, that's kind of that. 
Let me know if that makes sense or not. And if you have any questions or not. And that's that. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.